praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, uh, the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, Jehovah Eloheinu, the Lord our God, Je Jehovah Nekadishken, the Lord our sanctifier, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer, that you see in Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. Well, he has spoken with me again this past night. And in that conversation, the Lord spoke with me about the massive revival that is coming to Angola. The attention of heaven seems to be now focused on Angola. The mighty revival that is coming to Angola. Angola revival it seems will be either the same as Zambia or bigger. Bigger than Zambia where cripples walk, blind, everything happens. But in that conversation of the night, Jehovah spoke with me. Number one, I was in the meeting of the Lord and I saw coming from on top of a hill. I think it's a hill or a tall building, but it looks to me like a hill coming from the top of a hill the glory of the Lord comes like a mist a mist of pure white glory of God I see coming down from the top of the hill coming to the stadium and eventually enters the stadium and the glory then lifts up in front of the altar and the, the, all, the, again, the glory lifts up in front of the altar of the Lord like a white cloud or mist mixed with mist and over the meeting of the Lord. It is my prayer that the Lord, like he did in Kisumu, will open the eyes of the Angolan to see his glory. I have seen the glory of the Lord coming. Angola is going to be much bigger, much, much bigger and then I see a lady who is healed, and as she comes toward the man of God, the anointing of the Lord is so massive around the man of God, she collapses, but she's healed. Then I see a baby that is healed, and the mother of the baby seems to remove the cloth. I don't know whether it's too warm in that city. Remove the, the upper cloth of the baby, the upper piece, to demonstrate the mighty healing of Jehovah on the baby. There's a tremendous situation there. I see also some mature men. I, I don't know if it's a woman or a man because I see the legs. The legs I see, mature legs. That are barefooted. They are healed and they remove shoes and they're now barefooted. They are able to step down. And they can now perfectly step down on the ground. Meaning that the Lord is going to heal many creepers, many men, many paralytics are going to be healed in that meeting, young and old. Again, I say, I see this person, the barefooted, now stepping down very well barefooted. I see from Kenya here already that day. I have seen and believed to see that day in the city. Okay, I see breast tumors that will dissolve and disappear. And right now we know that the Lord is doing a very big thing. He's literally walking into the meeting himself and touching people physically. He did that in Helsinki when he touched this man from Sweden whose leg was shot. I think it was the right leg that was shot. He pulled it, stretched it physically. He felt the physical hand touch that leg and pulled it. And a little pain though. And then it became normal leg like the other, same size. We have seen it also in Brazil when this woman that worked for government in Capo Grande, the Lord pulled physically, pulled her leg. She felt pain as the hand was pulling and fit of the leg and they came together and we are seeing also what happened in Trinidad when the Lord walked in and physically touched humans and pulled them from the neck and passed them out through the ear and the ear did poop, popped out when the tumor was removed so it's going to be tremendous I see breast tumors that will disappear in Angola so I see the glory of the Lord coming. The Lord is going to pour the blood of Jesus. We are coming to Angola. When the man of God comes to Angola, 
he is essentially coming to celebrate the mighty blood of Jesus, the way he died in Kenya, and he's going to break loose. He's going to be very massive and mighty, probably greater than Zambia and beyond. Many fold higher than Zambia. The mighty revival of the Lord ignited in Zambia, the big one, the mega one that's currently ongoing, but it's going to be bigger than that because I see many people shield. So that means when the man of God, the servant of the Lord, comes to your land in Angola, the blessed nation, there is going to be a tremendous celebration of the blood of Jesus, and the Lord is going to heal many, many conditions and set people free. As a symbol of the time, that the time is over and the Messiah is coming, he's going to use this to calm the hearts of the pastors, that to righteousness and holiness, He's going to cause them to love repentance and the turning away from sin. He's going to cause them now to draw their hearts closer to Jesus, the Holy Jesus, that they may shun the gospel of prosperity and corruption of money, that they may shun sexual immorality and women, that they may shun false prophecy, false apostles, they may shun witchcraft. The Lord is coming to establish His banner over the nation of Angola. May the Lord bless you, Angola. May the Lord bless you again. I have blessed you because I've seen the day of your visitation. And it's a tremendous, glorified, glorious and beautiful day. The Messiah surely is coming. Because right now he is visiting many nations in a tremendous, historic way never ever seen before. Shalom and shalom.